Welcome to Chris's Bread. Today we're going to learn how to make rye bread. This uh, recipe uh, uses a starter. First we need to make a rye starter. And um, <clears throat> it uses cold rice technique, which there's so many steps in process. But please don't discourage it and follow this recipe and make the rye bread. To make the bread dark color, uses uh, you can use a caramel coloring or um, instant coffee or cocoa powder and it makes it gives a dark color. So let's learn how to make rye bread. Stir or whisk together all the rice sponge starter ingredients in mixing bowl till their flour is observed. It's gonna be a little runny in the beginning and eventually the wheat bran and coarse rye flour will soak the um, water and it's going to be thick. And you're going to leave it on room temperature for four to five hours. And then now you can see it's a little runny. And you can see the coarse rye flour. And we're going to cover it up and leave it in the room temperature to ferment it four to five hours. After four or five hours, you can see lots of bubbles. And from this point, you can proceed to make the firm starter or you can leave it in the um, fridge for overnight. If you leave it in the fridge overnight, you make sure you take it out and leave it in a room temperature one hour to get the chill out. Then add the firm starter ingredients and mix it really well. And bring it on a slightly floured surface and mix the, all the ingredients together until it absorbs the flour. Um, you don't have to knead until you develop gluten. As long as all the dry flour mixed well with the starter, firm starter, then it's good. Once it all mixed well, then we're going to put it in a uh, oiled bowl and I'm pounding down to level it and also putting a rubber band to make a mark to see how it's going to rise and then uh, cover it and let it, leave it in a room temperature for 3-4 hours. After it's been rise uh, three or four hours fermented, then we're going to leave it in the fridge overnight. Now you can see it's um, rose more in the fridge. And then to before making a bread dough, make sure keep it in a room temperature one hour to get the chill out. Once it's been an hour, then put it in a, in a big bowl. Um, Equally divide the firm starter using scissor or knife or just ripping by hand. Add all the ingredients for the bread dough and mix it well. To give a, a dark color, I use a dark chocolate um, cocoa powder. Uh, you may use um, caramel coloring or instant coffee. Mix all the ingredients very well until it um, separates from the side of the bowl. Then you bring it on a floured surface, flat surface, and um, mix it all together until it's elastic. Um, you may use electric mixer, then make sure you mix it at least 8 to 10 minutes if you're using um, if you're kneading by hand, at least 10 minutes until gluten forms. To check whether the gluten is formed, um, you can take a little piece and uh, stretch it out and do the window pan um, test. Uh, when you stretch it, stretch it out, um, make a real nice thin film that you can see the light through it that is um, cyanide gluten formed. So at that point you're gonna um, 
mix um, knit it together and then make a nice big bowl shape and you can see that coarse rye on the surface and put it in an oiled bowl cover it up and leave it in a room temperature for three hours until it's just um, swell it's not gonna hugely arise now you can see after three hours um, we're gonna shape the dough um, you may use um, sheet pan or um, banneton if you're using banneton make sure flower it um, if you're putting sheet using sheet pan then cover with uh, parchment paper and um, to uh, make the dough uh, bread shape equally divided either two or four and make a nice little bowl and let it rise and on, on cover it but um, um, towel or plastic wrap at least five minutes so it will be easy to shape it once it's rested well I am making uh, four loaves, two round and two oval using banneton. If you're using a sheet pan, then um, put it on the parchment paper and sprinkle the bread with oil and cover with plastic wrap. Um, I'm using banneton, so I have shaped it and make sure the smooth side down and uh, sprinkle the flour on top. Here's the oval shape. And I'm gonna individually wrap all the banneton with plastic wrap and um, put a rubber band around because I'm gonna um, transfer them to the fridge. Once it's been in room temperature for three, four hours, and one and a half time its original size and bigger then I'm going to transfer it to the fridge and keep it there overnight and then um, if you keep it in the fridge overnight uh, next day before you um, put it in the oven make sure keep it in a room temperature an hour to get the chill out and um, use um, here's bin in the fridge and now you can see the size has gotten um, bigger this way it's um, cold rice technique um, gives the sugar forms overnight and outside it's car caramelized so when it goes in the oven it gives beautiful color and beautiful taste to it that's the trick of the cold rice technique um, we're going to transfer it to the a baking peel if you have it if you don't have it you can use um, a cutting board covered with uh, cornmeal or polenta semolina whatever you have or flour and um, score the bread then we're going to transfer it to the oven. If you have sheet pan with parchment paper, you can slide the parchment paper on the stone or you can just put with the sheet pan in the oven. If it's covered with um, cast iron or, or um, other pan, roast pan, then I bake it 20 minutes covered in 10 or 15 minutes uncovered. If you're using sheet pan, make sure the total time is 30 to 35 minutes depending on its shape and size. Okay. And make sure you put water underneath and spray the pan. Now it's all done. I'm going to demonstrate how it's going to look and sound when we cut. Here is the dough. You can hear the nice crust very caramelized and crunchy and crumb is just nice and moist and soft and the air is uneven this is perfect loaf now you learned how to make rye bread 
and follow the recipe and make your own rye bread and enjoy it.